Welcome to the Stateless Codecast. This is episode number six in our series, Getting Started with Rails 7. So in our previous video and um, kind of leading up to this, we've created our application, created a uh, Oracle's controller uh, with index that kind of had a hello Rails sort of thing. Then we actually went in and created an article model so that we could have article records that are displayed in there. In our previous video, we went through 7.1 here on this uh, credit where credit is due section on showing a single article. So we went in, created a new route for an article with a parameter for the ID, created the show action, created the show.html.erb um, view, and then we um, went in and modified the article to link the article's index view to link to each article as it's being listed. So that's where we've uh, been. We've been keeping up with it. So far, it's just the con article's controller test, but um, doing this in a test-driven uh, uh, sort sort of framework here. So kind of as we do these different things, I'm gonna modify the tests first and then go in and do the um, the code to make those tests pass. So as hinted at in the previous uh, video, the, uh, the routing here uh, for articles uh, gets kind of tedious for a while there in the second, um, uh, in the previous video, video I did as article here so I can get the article path. I removed it so that I was staying consistent with where we were in the guide so far. But um, the next part of this is to go in and um, take all of those um, specific routes that you could have related to the article resource. So uh, the article is kind of, if you're thinking in object oriented terms, that's the object uh, articles becomes a table in your database. Uh, we have the article model object that um, kind of represents each record of that um, that article, and the the, um, the model actually is a Ruby class that kind of does a uh, what's known as object relational mapping through Rails Active Record to um, read to and write read from and write to the database. So um, it, it's very common in these, um, to have these um, uh, RESTful create, update, um, create, read, update, destroy uh, actions on a given resource. So uh, in order to make that easier, Rails provides the resources um, option in your route so that you can instead of for each one of your tables going and doing um, get articles new to articles n new as new article path all those things will be easier to do if we uh, we go in and do that so uh, before we do that I'm going to go back to our articles controller test and um, I had previously commented out get article URL with the article. I'll put that back in and this will make our test fail because there isn't an articles an article path defined with the way that our route is currently set up. So we'll now go in and remove the index and show lines of our Rails routes and replace them with resources articles. And that in and of itself should get our test back to passing, which it does. And if we go in and do Rails routes here, you can see that we've got a whole bunch of new routes uh, on the article. The uh, the guide is easier to read here, so we'll take a look at here how these routes work if you just do the default 
resources, articles view. So um, this is the, the root path and this is not defined by the articles resource, that's defined by us doing root articles index here in, um, in the routes. And then we start here with uh, articles. So this is articles, you can do articles underscore URL or articles underscore path. Um, the verb here is get, which means that we're reading and it goes to articles, there's no parameter and the controller action is articles index. And we already have that in place. So we've got our articles controller, move that back over here. Um, so in the index action, uh, it's setting an instance variable um, active record relation to uh, article.all and then in our item here, we in, in our application with the server running, we are going to um, that resource slash articles and it's giving us a list of articles. Because our root path is also pulling, pointing to this controller action, you can see that the, uh, the same thing happens there. Our next item here is new articles. This is another uh, get route. And what, what we'll, we'll do is that will create, that'll bring us to the form page where we would um, interact to create a new article. And you can see this also does not have a, uh, a parameter. It's not going to a specific article, it's going to the form to give us a new article. And it routes to the controller action which doesn't exist yet, articles new. Uh, the article path, which we just added back into our controller test, um, you can see this one does have a parameter, so it's looking for a specific ID, and if you don't put that in the, um, the parameter, it won't um, go to that, uh, to that path, and that goes to the article show action of our controller. The um, the post here also will be article, um, the articles path that you go to because um, you can see that it's the same, um, the same URI pattern here. It's just the, the verb now is instead of get, it's going to post. So you don't have a specific parameter when you're posting and creating a new article record because you don't have an ID yet. It hasn't been written to the database. So the, um, go to articles here and this um, will route to the articles create action by default. Uh, after you have an article in, uh, in process, you have the edit article path. This is another one that takes an ID parameter and it, it's, whereas your show is article slash ID, this will get, do articles slash ID slash edit and take you to uh, the, typically your form where you would allow the person to the, the allow the user to make um, manipulations to the existing record and update it. That brings us to the next verb which is patch here. This is articles slash ID so again you need the specific article in order to update it and then that goes to the articles update action and finally we have if we want to delete Again, we're going to articles with a specific ID. We're not going to just generally delete a random article or anything like that. We're going to delete a specific article and that takes us to the articles destroy action. Um, and as noted, the, um, the resources gives you the ability to do um, a URL here um, using article path we already had articles path before. I put this in the um, in the test as article uh, article URL. So um, URL. So path will give you a relative uh, relative path to where you are in your directory structure. URL will take you will give you the absolute uh, URL to where you're going. That's the difference between the two of them. So if I go now to index.html.erb, I can uh, replace what I had in the quotes with article path article, and it will 
continue to behave the way we want it to. It's still linking there, but it's um, um, a nicer, not much nicer, but a nicer um, and, and briefer kind of way of going about it. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is uh, instead of just putting this embedded Ruby into the parameter of this a tag here, um, we are going to uh, replace that with the uh, a Rails helper. This is the link to helper. And so we will we'll start by doing it the less um, an equivalent way, but kind of wordier. So this is equivalent to what is in the Rails guide. Just quickly do it to show that it's equivalent and still works. But um, if you are providing an active record object here, it will infer what it is from um, uh, by the object type and use the Rails convention over configuration to get you where you need to go with. You can uh, I'll undo to get back to what we had at first here. So this is what we had written as code before. And now once we get back to, uh, to this, this is much briefer and more elegant, um, spilling less digital ink to get the same result, easier to maintain and more dynamic. So go back to articles here and see that everything still works and we're able to navigate as we wanted to. If I go in now on my tests, they should still pass and they do. And let's see here, I think I'm going to stop there because I think then the next section would if I try to do it all in this video it would make this video run a bit too long uh, I want to do um, new and create together so we'll take a look at what we've got for our changes so we've uh, we've taken the uh, the link made it uh, briefer more elegant uh, we've gotten rid of the um, the per action uh, routes on the resource and use replace that with the resources uh, section here. Uh, and then in our test, we were able to replace slash articles slash uh, interpolation article dot ID with uh, article URL article. And I'm going to see how... let me do this in my test. It will not. So um, no implicit conversion of article to string. So we need to leave that with the, um, the explicit articles URL in order to make that work in our test. But uh, we'll add in our items, write our commit message. So I've got my commit message. Make sure I don't have any unsaved changes. 
the remote and we'll pick you up, pick it up with um, creating and uh, new in the next video. Want to create your own Ruby gem but don't know where to start? Code along with me on the end-to-end -end journey of the Nerd Dice project. We'll configure and publish the gem, use GitHub Actions to trigger builds and tests, and create magic methods with Ruby metaprogramming that can roll any number of dice, all while using a test-driven approach. Go to statelesscode.com slash nerddicegem to level up. Thanks for watching this Stateless Code video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. Check out our growing library of videos on our social media channels. Follow us at Stateless Code and Taxation is Theft.